These are the Magdalena Mountains, named for Mary Magdalene. According to one local legend, a group of Mexicans were besieged by Apaches on the mountain when the face of Mary Magdalene miraculously appeared, frightening the Indians away. That may sound strange, but as you're about to see, the Magdalenas hold many strange things. The Magdalena Mountains are only about an hour south of Albuquerque. They rise to over 10,700 feet, and there is evidence that's been found of human occupation dating back 14,000 years. Found some really interesting tracks right here by my campsite. That one looks very round. Then we come over here. There's a couple more, but smaller. I'm wondering if we have an adult and a juvenile creatures here. I'm not sure what these are. The roundness makes me think mountain lion. And these look more pointed. Let's see what our track experts think. My tracking experts all agree. Canine, probably coyotes. So the ground here is just covered with juniper seeds. And these are from an alligator juniper. And I think we gotta see what's in one of these seeds. Juniper seeds have a lot of medicinal purposes. They're used for uh, Uh, constipation and things like that. They're used in uh, drinks like gin. This one, what's interesting, it has at least two seeds, probably another one over here. Um, at least what's interesting to me is Near Albuquerque in the Sandia Mountains, we have primarily one seed junipers that have one seed. These have multiple seeds within their berries. This is about the fourth pile of coyote scat I've seen, but it's not surprising with all the juniper berries and a pretty good crop of pinion seeds. And we can see all the juniper berries in this scat. It's always incredible to me, these remote spots, how dark it is. There's no moon. I don't think you'll be able to see any stars, but I can see thousands upon thousands. All right. It's got a little bit of a breezy night. People always say it's kind of crazy to go camping this time of year because it's so cold, but the cold isn't really the problem. You can prepare for that with the right gear, good warm sleeping bag and all. The real problem is the darkness. You know, we're just about the shortest days of the year. So it's the darkness. I mean, it's really cool to go outside and see a million stars, but that really doesn't entertain you for that long. So after a very windy evening and a fitful night's rest, I decided that I would go for a walk. And this is when the trip kind of turned a little strange. I found some pretty unusual things.
So this is not something I expected to see, a cross in the middle of the woods, but I did a little research, and this is a geocache that was placed here by this young man's brother as a way of remembering one of his brother's favorite activities in one of his favorite places. Very nice little spot. Just came across this pile of rocks. I don't even know what people think this might be because this is not a natural pile of rocks. And there's a stick shoved right in the top. I don't know, this little hike has become a little bit creepy, spooky. Well, this little morning walk in the Magdalena Mountains keeps getting stranger. All this blue stuff is scat, but the animal clearly ate, looks like some sort of blue cloth. I would love to know what people think. My guess would be probably somebody's dog. A bone tied to a fence. What could this possibly be? Well, I'm not exactly sure, but it's a pretty common practice uh, that's slowly fading out of ranchers to hang dead coyotes from fences with the idea being that it's going to do either scare coyotes away, other coyotes, or it's a warning to other ranchers that there are predators in the area. But uh, it's not totally uncommon to see dead coyotes hanging from a fence. I'm guessing that this is the leg of a coyote that was hung up a long time ago. But I'm not 100% sure. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe.